Hey there, y'all. It's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. Well, happy New Year's Eve to everybody out there. How are you guys doing? As you hop on, say hey. Let me know if you have big plans for tonight or if you are at home like me. And we are going to be doing some DIY home decorating tonight. Welcoming in the new year with a welcome mat. How exciting is that? I think that is super exciting. I thought it was a little bit clever. I don't know, you know? Um, hey guys, um, so we're gonna do this tonight and we're gonna play an awesome, awesome game. It's gonna be at the end of the project. So you're gonna wanna hang in there until we finish the project so that you can see the game and have a chance to win. And I'll show you what we're gonna win. Um, if I have it all ready. So let me know if I am clear tonight. I found out that our um, internet was not working last night and it was not our fault. It was um, on the sudden links fault. So, all right, let's get started. Hey, Charlene, I'm so glad you're here with me. All right, so this is the welcome mat. We're welcoming in the new year with this welcome mat. Guys, this is the simplest mat ever. It is just from the Dollar Tree. This is something I forgot to show y'all last night, but it is literally just a little Dollar Tree floor mat. Super inexpensive, $1. Everyone can get one of these. All right, I'm gonna cut the tag off real quick because I think it'll be easier to work with. What are y'all doing? Hey, Fran, you're home? Yes. Oh, yum. Shrimp and grits is one of my favorite meals. It's such a Southern thing, isn't it? Oh, it's such a Southern thing. All right, so here's the floor mat. So I really, really like it. I love the font. I love that it's black, but I'm thinking no to the um, gold, okay? So we are going to remake this and add to it. So let's get going, guys, because it's going to take me a hot minute. I'm gonna put this up here while we work on the mat. So just a little reminder. And for those of you who are just hopping on, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that we are going to be doing a fun, fun New Year's Eve game at the end of the video. And so hang in there so you have a chance to win. This is just my plate from last night's project, y'all. It still has gray paint on it, but we're just gonna use it. I'm gonna to try to put the paint on the other side of the paper plate. Just gonna put a good amount because um, I don't know how much it's gonna take me. And this is just regular deco art. Um, <laughs> I am drawing a blank. Acrylic, acrylic paint, ac acrylic paint, you guys. And it's just white, whatever white is. So I'm literally gonna be guessing at what kind of brush I should use. I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with this little bitty um, orange brush. I don't know, it's slanted and everything. Oh, thank you, Monica and Tanya. You guys are so sweet. All right, I'm just going to get a healthy amount of paint on my brush because I think it's gonna take a lot. And this paint may not last forever, but listen, it's a dollar mat, and I just I wanna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. It's a dollar mat, and it's really just to cover up the gold if it doesn't last forever, it's quite all right. Okay, this is not really a big enough uh, paintbrush, so it's going to take me quite a while to use that one. I'm going to see, I have a couple of other sizes, and I'm tempted to use this size right here, so we'll see. Okay, I'm going to, uh, this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit too wide. So this is like the three bears, right? You've got too big, too little, let's find just right. All right, let's see. How about, I probably would be best served to have a, something that does this, but this is gonna get everywhere. How about this one? We'll try this one real quick. Yeah, it's better if I just kind of um, dab it on there, it looks like. And I knew this was gonna take a little while, guys, so I was prepared for us to chat tonight. Hold on, let me see here. Let me try this one. This is worse than Goldilocks. This is like three different sizes. Oh, I think I have a winner. I think I have a winner. Okay, and it doesn't have to be solid. I'm just trying to get it a little bit over the gold. 
You didn't like the gold either, Janice. Well, I like it for certain things, just not for my, you know, doormat. So this is going to be something that I'm going to simply lay over the buffalo checked doormat that I painted um, the other day. Oh, no, no worry. No worries, Marilyn. I'm sure it'll all get figured out. Okay. Let's see here. This is coming along a little bit slower than I thought because I'm not just sitting here stenciling it. I'm sure if I pounced it like this, it would go a little faster. And there's gonna be a little bit of a gold edge left and that's okay because I want the sharper edge. I'm just trying to see if I can make it where it's gonna be obvious that it's a different color. I think from a distance, it's gonna be fine. You use 40 or more brushes, Char. You're so funny. You're a good painter, girl. Good painter. Guys, you should go check out Char's Art from the Heart. She has a great page. Okay. It is coming along. Coming along. I'm going to tamp this a little bit more, and then I'll show you guys where we are so far. Hey, Jan. How are you? So how many of you guys are ready for 2020? Have you guys seen um, my uh, post today? Oh my gosh, if you're really quiet, you can hear the fireworks. They're doing fireworks in our neighborhood. I don't know why. A lot of people do fireworks. Let me know in the comments below if you do fireworks as you are um, celebrating uh, New Year's. I don't but a lot of people do. Okay, this might take a hot minute. Are you guys down? Are you guys down for a hot minute? I'm literally tamping it on, trying to keep it in sort of the lines. And it takes a lot of me looking down at it. So, so there's not a lot of me looking up at you, but I think after this E, I'm going to show you if you can't still see it. And again, it's just to sort of go over and I'll probably end up doing two coats ultimately, but I just kind of want to show you where I'm at. You see how it's just kind of barely going over it, but from a distance, you can tell it looks more white than it does gold. What do you think? Julie, they're both, both holidays. So um, guys, if you're new, give me some of this. This is part of the New Year's Eve fun. This is part of the New Year's Eve fun. I am just checking. I was gonna be sitting at home, so I knew I wanted to do a project with you guys but I'm checking the numbers to see how many other people were at home. And it looks like about half the people from, from last night as tonight, but we'll see. Facebook shows it to more people as we go along. So we'll see. The more we sprinkle and spread the love of the video around, the more, um, oh, I got out of the lines, y'all. I got out of the lines. Can you see even what I'm doing? I think if I would focus on these skinny parts, it would be better. Okay, so I struggled with what game we would play tonight because I knew I wanted to play a game. I've told y'all over and over again that we are a game playing family. So it's New Year's Eve, we have to play a game. It's settled, we have to play a game. All right. You guys are so patient. So patient. So I've been putting posts in the on the page today. If you're not set up for notifications, be sure to like and follow um, Melanie Ferguson DIY Home Decorating, which is also Southern Crush at Home. You guys, I posted my top projects from this year that are over on the blog. And if several of people, and I asked you which one was your favorite. 
and several people said the beads, the wooden beads. So if raise your hand if you've seen the wooden beads video. That is sort of like what we did over the holidays um, when we did the, um, yeah, there was, Janice, there was a mat with the house on it. I saw that one. I just liked the font on this one, so it really caught my attention. And so, there's that. Okay, we are moving along, moving along. So I posted my top projects that are from the blog for 2019. The ones that got the most traffic, the most comments, um, the most love. And like I said, you guys picked the beads, the wooden bead tassel, which is amazing. And it's interesting as well because the messy bow is the one that went viral, but um, it wasn't the most popular uh, post, blog post. You never know with the internet, guys, what's going to be the winner. Just kind of getting this on here. Okay. We are getting to the M in welcome. Moving along at an okay pace. <laughs> Again, if it was an actual stencil and I could literally just tamp down a roller across it, it would be so much faster. But this is basically just going over it by hand, trying to make it a different color. And I might, could if I get really OCD, I could spend hours just probably getting this perfected. But for now, we're just gonna get it get it started so that you guys have an idea of what it's gonna look like when you go to the Dollar Tree and grab one of these and make one for yourself. Because I don't know if you guys know that. That's like my favorite thing ever is when you make the projects that I um, show you the idea. So when it inspires you to actually take action go get some materials and make something similar to what I made or exactly, I don't really care. That's what I like. Okay. And I think I poured out just the right amount of paint, believe it or not. Well, no, I didn't, because we're going to do one more thing as soon as I finish the letters. This is an easy project, guys. This is an easy project. You can do it in, obviously, like a few short minutes. You can take your time and probably do it a little more um, delicately if you want. Okay, we are on the E. Can you still see it? Let me move my stuff. Here we go, almost done. Oh, thank you, Sandra, or Sandra. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Ah. Maybe I'll wear them more in the new year. Stuff's falling, stuff's falling. Oh gosh, y'all. I just um, accidentally put a dot because I wasn't paying attention after the welcome, but it looks cute and we're gonna add something to it anyway. So I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Okay, let's see here. I'm just filling in a couple of spots right here. Mm. Are you guys ready to see where we are so far? I think I'm ready to show you. Just kind of going back over here where we started just to see what it does to have a second layer. All right, so let me show you where we are. And it, it has a, a dot after the welcome for now. So here's the welcome. There's my dot. <laughs> That's, that's where I messed up. But anyway, we're moving along. Aw, thank you, Marla. You're so sweet. All right, so we are going to do this. 
This is my first time ever. You guys are always here for the first time I use a tool. It's so funny. So I bought these little, it says pouncers. They're pouncers. That's the official name of these. And so um, we're gonna pounce this thing. We're gonna pounce it with, we're gonna pounce it with not all the sizes, but three of these sizes, okay? I'm excited about this part. And like I said, y'all, I'll probably go back and perfect this and give it a couple of extra coats. But for now, it is what it is. All right. I'm going to add a little bit more paint to my, um, what do you call it? Placemat. Or <laughs> paper plate. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm going to start with big dots. I think that's what you do is you start with big dots. So this is the size. Don't ask me. I do not know what size it is. It doesn't even say. It just says, pound. oh, no, 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 no. It says, this is 30 millimeters. Millimeters. Means nothing to me. Nothing to me. All right, so I'm going to literally take the, pa the paper plate. I'm going to pounce. I'm not going to do it heavy. It did make a little blob there. And I've got it all on there. And then I'm still, I'm gonna offload a little bit. So I'm just gonna do this one time with it. Cause I do need a lot of paint, but I probably don't need um, so much that it's just a mess. So are y'all ready for the first pounce? Ah, so scary. I'm gonna put the first pounce right here. Oh wait, you can't see. I've gotta make it where you can see it. First pounce, first pounce going down right here. I have no idea. It'll go a lot faster. It'll go a lot faster when I get the hang of it. Okay, it didn't do much, but you can see there's a dot. You can see there's a dot. It's gonna take more. So I'm gonna need to literally probably not wipe it off, leave it thick like that and do it again. Hold your breath. It's not a good thing to do with a bunch of coffee in you, which I don't have that problem, look. It's just sitting, it's pouncing. It's a self-pouncer. If you want the special self-pouncer, um, I can tell you where to get them. Okay. It's doing okay. It's just not thick, but it's perfect. I think it's perfect. Okay, we're gonna do another pounce. We're gonna do another pounce, and I think up here would be a good pounce. Make it where y'all can see. If you're, um, oh, push down. I'm scared to push down, Susan. Oh, okay, well, I was just scared it was gonna smear if I push down. Okay, I'm trying the smush down version. I like it, that was better, thank you. What a great tip. Okay, I'm getting a little more paint. We're gonna do one more dot right here right here, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. My table's too small for all the things that are on it. Let me move all this stuff around. And can you even, yeah, you can see it now. If my, if the comments are in your way, swipe them to the right and then they'll all be disappeared. Okay, we've got our third dot. I'm gonna show you where we are. This is where we are. We're getting a polka dot rug. We're getting a polka dot doormat. I'm so happy. This is gonna be so cute, y'all. All right, so I am getting the pouncer covered again. And we're gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start in the corner. And once again, you can't see it. There we go. Okay, it's gonna go a little faster now because I know I have to push down since I got the good tip from Susan to push down. She's like, push it down, but I do need more paint. This takes a lot of paint. Look, I just shoved my fingers in it. Give me the laughy faces, because I know it's like funny to get covered in paint. <laughs> Guys, I keep putting that out there to remind me. It's a little inside thing for me to remind me. So um, there's that. Okay, I am pushing down. I have got this one. That one turned out good. 
okay, I'm a professional pouncer. Who knew? Who knew I'm a professional pouncer? Lisa, the doormat is from a Dollar Tree. Believe it or not, $1 for the doormat. Okay, so I'm gonna put another dot over here. And again, you can't see it. You still can't see it. My paint's gonna fall off the table, y'all. Okay, that's the last big, I think that's the last big dot I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna do a few small dots and, or mediums and then smalls and we're done. Guys, I don't know where my pouncers went. I found the tiny one. I gotta find the medium one. Oh, here it is. Do y'all ever have stuff that just kind of gets hidden when you're in the middle of your when you're in the middle of your project? All right, let's do the medium ones because we've got to get this game going. If you just hopped on, you probably didn't hear that we are going to be doing um, a really fun game at the end. Okay, this doesn't have enough paint on it. All right. Now it does. All right, I'm going to put this here, literally just guessing. And then up here, there's no rhyme or reason, guys. I am just going with it. And I'll show you as soon as we're done. Um, oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to make some other dots. One of them, I don't like the placement, but that's okay. This one's going there. I think I'm addicted to the pouncing. I see a bunch of hearts. So I'm thinking I have some other pouncers out there. I'm thinking I have some other pouncers. All right, I think that's enough of the medium. This is where we're at. I don't like those top dots. We're gonna put some little dots in between and see if we can't fix it. And then we're just gonna roll with it. Y'all, this is what I'm working with. It's a tray of madness. It's a tray of madness. I am trying my best to get the paint on here. It's just that the doormat's so big, it's hard to um, it's hard to mess with it and show y'all at the same time. I would really like to show you the paint I'm getting. Okay. I'm loving the three sizes of dots, y'all. Loving it. And literally just addicted to pouncing. I'm addicted to pouncing. Is that a bad thing? Is there like a group for that? Pouncers Anonymous? Could there be a Pouncers Anonymous? Okay, I feel like I need more paint, but I'm trying to just do with what I have because I'm kind of like that. I'm going to put this dot up here and call it a day. I think that's all the dots. Ah, I need your opinion. I need your opinion. Here we are. This is where we're at. Okay. Lots of dots. Lots of dots. I'm wondering if I need some, if I need a dot or not over here on the edge. Is it okay to just have it on the top and bottom? Or do I need a dot over here on the edge? My second question is, do I need to make this period where I dropped paint, do I need to make this a pouncer dot? Or can I leave it just the little, uh-oh, the little oopsie? Or should I make it a pouncer dot? No more, says Terry. I kind of agree. Um, and then what about the polka dot? Does, is that okay for the oopsie? Or do I need to um, make it an actual tiny pouncy dot? Okay, no, love it, no, love it, perfect. Okay, I think y'all are just saying that because y'all are ready for the game. I think y'all are ready for the game. No more dots. <laughs> I know, I kind of feel like I went crazy with the dots, um, but it's okay, it's okay. There's the welcome sign. I keep leaning back so you can see it. Leave the, leave the oopsie, okay, as is, leave it. All right, so I will leave it. There is our welcome 2020 doormat, which you guys already know. I'm going to go back and do a second coat on the words so that it's, um, I, the whole thing needs a second coat so that it's brighter, but let's get to our game. Woo, let's get rid of this. Okay. 
here's how we're going to do this. Don't laugh. I got this deck of cards and I had no idea. Are y'all down for this? Are y'all down for this? It's so corny, but I knew you could appreciate a good game. All right. I got this deck of cards and I had no idea that since it said Bally's, it says authentic and I didn't, I didn't know. I just thought that meant they're real cards. Well, of course they're real cards, but they were played at a casino. So these actually were in a casino. And so apparently they dog ear the corners so that they can't be played in a casino again. I had no idea. I had no idea. So that being said, these were from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I got them. I just thought I needed playing cards, some more playing cards. Um, anyway, it's a real deck of cards, y'all. It's got all the things, all the different things. Okay. So what we're going to do, and let me show you what you're going to win. We are playing for a set of six chalkboard tags. They have these little strings in the back at the top. There's a bunch of fireworks going on. They have these little strings at the top and they are chalkboard tags. Guys, you can do so many things with these. You can use a chalk pen. You can do some stenciling. You can paint them. You can do whatever you want with them, but this is what we're playing for. Sometimes they put a hole through the deck. That's what my husband said. He thinks I'm crazy because I didn't know what they were. Um, they can only use for so many times. Yes, he was saying they they um, change out the um, cards every four hours. I was like, first of all, that's crazy. Second of all, how do you know that? <laughs> anyway, I, I'm sitting here talking with this finger and it's got, I've anyway, clearly done projects tonight. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to play this game for this deck of tags. And here's how we're going to do this. All right. First of all, to play slash to win, you have to have done this, okay? If you've done this, then you are eligible to play and to win. And what we're going to do is based on, listen, the instructions are super, super important. This is not going to be who on your end answers first. It's just impossible. Okay. Everyone's internet connection and speeds are different. Okay. It's going to be who on my end I see first that gives me the right answer. Okay. All right. So that being said, I don't want to hear a bunch of, I said that first or I said it too. Okay. Yes, Christine, keep it clean. <laughs> We're going to keep it clean, folks. Everybody, everybody keep it clean. All right, so you have to have done this. So no matter what you answer, I am going to go back and make sure that the winner did this. And if you did that, then you might just win yourself a stack of chalkboard tags. All right. If y'all think this is fun tonight after we do this, I'm going to put this here and um, maybe we'll do something a little different another time, but I'll need your help to think of a different game because this is not really um, something that is that difficult. It's just fun. It's just fun. I thought I would do it with y'all because it's New Year's Eve. So here we go. All right. Um, I am literally going to draw a card and you guys have to guess it correctly. All right. So you can go ahead since there's 52 choices, there's no jokers. There's 52 choices of what the card could be. You have to say a two of hearts, a three of spades, a jack of diamonds. You have to say what you think that, um, what you think that the answer, what the card is that I'm drawing. All right. Sorry. Bring out your money. Oops, I'm dropping all the cards. Hold on. Okay, I got them all. They're all here. Woo, that was close. So, literally, y'all got the instructions? You can start You can start guessing right now because it's not going to change. So, um, Susan's guessing three of hearts. Um, you can guess as often as you want, but only one person is going to be the winner, and it's going to be the first one I see on my end 
based on what I draw. And so I'll probably have to go back through here to see who labeled, who labeled, who answered it first. So here we go. I'm just going to shuffle it as best I know how. Does everybody know how to shuffle the little bridge shuffle? And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I don't have anybody here to slice the deck for me, but Y'all are doing great. Y'all are doing great. Lots of hearts guesses. <laughs> Hope it's a heart. All right. Y'all already know how to do this. Fun, fun, fun. One more shuffle, and then we are going to draw a card. Are y'all excited? Is this fun? Is this anticipation fun? I think it's fun. All right. All right. This is... Oh, that's not it. I'm just saying this is fun. All right. So I'm going to literally just draw a card. I'm gonna draw a card. Are y'all ready? Everybody got their guesses in? It's gonna be the first one who has it right. Y'all are gonna see it before me. Is the anticipation killing you yet? <laughs> oh my goodness, Queen of Diamonds. It's the Queen of Diamonds. Did anybody guess the Queen of Diamonds? The Queen of Diamonds is the winner, and they're going to get this. I'm going to go through here real quick and see if I can see if anybody already said it on my end. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm getting through. I'm going through. Hold on. I see a bunch of sprinkles and shareds. Um, here we go. Three of Hearts was our first guess. All right. King of Hearts. Yes. Okay. No, that's not it. Somebody just said queen, Monica. It would have need to ha say queen of diamonds. Terry said queen of hearts on my end. Two of hearts, Janet. Okay, we are looking for, okay. Teresa said queen of hearts, queen of hearts, said Diane. Queen of hearts said Amy. Sheila said queen of hearts. Lots of queen of hearts guesses. Queen of hearts, three of diamonds, two of hearts, four of diamonds. We are looking for Queen of Diamonds, the first one on my end. Four of Hearts, Ace of Spades. Chili had Queen of Hearts. Oh my goodness, y'all. Come on, come on. And it's not cheating if you are if you just typed it in because it's the first one I see on my end. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Good shuffler. Carol, Queen of Diamonds. This is fun, y'all. Queen of Diamonds. Ah, oh, Billy Patsy Ferguson. Billy Patsy Ferguson. She is our official winner. I'll be sending you these. Message me your address. I'm going to double check that you did this. If you did this, then you are the winner. And it looks like the second place winner is Julie House. So, Julie, I will um, check with Billy. Um, I don't know if your name's Billy or if it's Patsy and your husband's Billy and y'all are together um, on your Facebook. But if it is you, you are the winner. So as long as you have sprinkled the video, then you are going to be the one that I send this to. And the backup winner is Julie House. So yay, congratulations. Everybody congratulate Billy Patsy Ferguson. That was not rigged. I do not know her. She is not a relation to me, but I think that is super funny. That is super funny, y'all. I'm going to put this up here real quick so I can be back to where y'all are talking. I feel out of the loop. All right. All right, I hope this was fun for y'all. It was super fun for me. I appreciate you spending a little bit of your New Year's Eve with me. Let's hop off of here and watch the ball. Do you watch the early or the late? The early or the late? We watch the early. We watch the early. So anyway, I appreciate y'all. <sighs> super fun. And I hope you guys make one of these uh, Dollar Tree doormats. Talk to you later. Bye.